In this tutorial, we shall see how to use uh, uh, Oracle case and decode statements to simulate if condition in select statements. So the scenarios, we'll see the scenarios. First, we'll see the scenarios where we might need the if statements in the SQL. So I've created a test table called EMP and te underscore test and I have added a new column called agenda which is going to have the values male and female, the short form, right? So we have more Atkinson, it's male and Shelley, Elizabeth and all female. So we do have a mix of male, female. And for few people, I haven't updated the gender. It's just to simulate the scenarios, right? So when I display to the user, right, the end user, the actual end user, they would be more interested to see male rather than value M right similarly for female they would like to see female then better female better than just f right so in these scenarios we can use the uh, case and decode statements both are same both the statement saves the same purpose decode uh, was kind of right uh, from the earlier releases and case statement uh, for better readability for better readability it came in off late right in the later releases uh, later Oracle releases. So uh, it's basically in programming, right? If I if I want to write, uh, it's uh, write it in English. I'll say if gender is equal to M, then print me, then print male, right? Again, if gender equal to F. then print female if you don't know anything null print unknown so let's say that this is the output that i am expecting for this column so how i can do th this is i will first say select first underscore name and then let me just do this first gender from emp underscore test Right, I've done this. So now what I will do is I will use the decode statement. The syntax for decode statement is we have to use the keyword decode and then specify the column name. I will say the column name here is gender and I will say if the value is M, print me male. If the value is CF, right, uh, print me female. For other values, just print unknown. Right? If the values, the, the column gender contains value M, then print male. Else print, if the value is F, print female. For any other value, print unknown. Right? So then what I can do is I can just say, I will just saying select first name, comma, decode, and I will give an alias to this column, and I will say gender right from emp underscore test right so now since the original gender column right doesn't have any value for these two columns we are getting unknown for other columns it's showing male male and wherever it's female you see the female values right agreed male male female and then you get to see the female value so this is how de the decode statement works so for the decode right is it mandatory for me to give the last else condition for then print null or any other value is it mandatory no it's not mandatory what i can do is right i can say in case of m print male in case of f print female all other cases i'm not interested you leave it as such Right, then it will just leave it as null, the original value. So this is another variation of decode. So decode column name, the value that is present in the table, inserted in the table, and then what is the equivalent you want to give. So the data type should match, right? In this case, the data type should match for these two, right? I can't have one as varchar2 and another as a date field or something like that. So this is how the decode works. Two variation of decode. Here we have right something like else. Else for any other value, don't do anything, right? Then print female. Else null condition or else. 
basically when i say else if the value is not male if the value is not female any other value we say else print unknown so that's what we are doing it here here i'm saying i'm just interested in male and female if the value is anything else leave it blank so this is how decode works case statement is more or less similar what i will do is i will say case gender okay and then here i will say when m then i'll say male right when uh, in quotes i will say when f then female okay and then i can say in uh, end and then given as uh, an ally so i'll say gender right from so this is a, a syntax for case statement case column name and then when the value is m what you want when the value is f what you want to print and end as gender so i'll just do this right shall I first name comma case as gender and then i can say from emp underscore test right it says uh, from keyword not found where expected because there is a right a spelling mistake double m there so if you see here now you get the same thing right same output i'm getting a male male female female and the other thing that i can do with this is another variation is i can bring in the else part as well just before end i'll say else unknown for any other value you just print unknown that's what i'm trying to say here for any other value print unknown so this is what pretty much the decode and case statements so basically in interview right people might ask you if how to simulate the var, uh, if if else conditions in sql if a column has a particular value i want to print some value uh, if a column has another value i want to print uh, another value so i will say the right i have a created a table called account type and if the value is present as right account type it's a banking application account type is sp right savings bank i'm just giving an example quickly savings bank ca right current account and then ft right fixed deposit account and then right loan account i'm just giving an example right so uh, our fx account forex account there can be many different types of account so when i want to display to the user i'm more interested to see the description rather than this particular value then in those scenarios we can always use the case statement case gender when male and then uh, when m then male when f then female so these are all some of the scenarios where case and decode is used so 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 the question is to simulate if conditions in your uh, uh, sql queries uh, i will use the case and decode statements decode and case are more or less the same case from readability point of view it gives you a better readability compared to decode statements right uh, in decode it's the column name and then for each value that is present in the table what value you want to substitute to and the data type should match for both the cases so that's this is pretty much the case and the uh decode statements thank you